Hey Collective, welcome back guys. So let's go ahead and see what's going on in your overall energy at the moment. This is just going to be a quick energy check-in. I am getting uh, your daily timestamp reading ready for tomorrow. But I just wanted to tap into this energy, see what's going on with my collective today, Sunday, December the 18th. Guys, keep in mind that these are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Um, time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. And there is no gender and tail. Reverse the roles as need be. If anyone is interested in a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. I am also offering a $25 same-day reading, three question max. You can find that information in the community tab, okay? So, guys, um, first card that came out is the Two of Fire here, which is the Two of Wands. So, there is some blockages that are being currently removed from a situation where you feel like you haven't been in any contact with someone. Um, someone is choosing to take the high road to come towards you, to have a conversation with you, to bring in some clarity, Hermit. This person has been in hermit mode, okay? Someone here hasn't really been saying much. Um, They've been keeping quiet, spending some time to themselves. And the, re the reason that they're doing this is because they're also trying to obtain some clarity. This relationship, if this is indeed a relationship, was very intense in the past, okay? It's like you guys went from meeting each other to, find, to moving in towards, okay, we're going to move in together, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Like everything started happening really, really fast. And as the relationship was progressing and things were starting to get more stable, things were also happening within the, the, the energy, such as financial instabilities, uh, family members getting sick, some people even passing. Things were just changing, okay? So because of those sudden changes and those sudden eruptions that were going on within your personal lives, I feel that the connection was blocked, okay? Um, this person is going to be communicating today. It's like they got all of a sudden this, this surge of confidence, they're ready to talk to you. They're ready to remove the blockages. They're ready to explain something here. Five of fire, five of wands energy. I feel that this person is in a place where they want to explain why they decided to move a, a different direction or why they decided to, to kind of leave you stuck out in the cold or not want to entertain the connection anymore. They want to like really open up and explain this to you because their overall intention here is the Ace of Cups energy. After they finish explaining their actions and why things happened the way they did, they're going to want to offer you a new beginning in love. It's like they're going to want a new chance here, a new opportunity, a do-over, I heard. They want a do-over with you, okay? They want another chance with you. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians, what is this overall energy here for my collective in regards to the person that has no communication with them at the moment? The Chariot. So again, this person is all of a sudden, they woke up Sunday morning, have not been able to stop thinking about you. You have been seeing a lot of synchronicities regarding this person. It's like today you could have gotten up and decided to go grocery shopping. And you remember walking down the, this aisle with this person, picking certain foods, and they were thinking the same thing. Okay, you've seen their car all over the place. Um, even one of their family members could have very well reached out to you today, too. So it, it's just like all these coincidences happening at the same time. But the truth of the matter, why they're happening is because the, with the chariot here, this person is taking this initiative to come towards you. Like they're getting ready to reach out to you today and they're wanting to have this conversation with you. In this conversation, look at renewal, judgment, a new opportunity. They're going to, this person is, I keep on hearing do over. Now I know do over is, isn't technically a good term for a relationship, but what I'm hearing here by that do over is that this person has taken a decision, they've made a judgment with the renewal here, and they're ready to restart this connection. As a matter of fact, this person is going to ask you to forgive them for the past, and can you please leave the past in the past? And the reason they're going to do this is because this person, they don't want to think about the past. They want the past to stay behind them. They want the past nine of air, the nine of swords. They want you to forgive them from causing you those sleepless nights, from causing you all that anxiety. This is not the way this person wants you to perceive them. They don't want you to look at them as a person that can come into your life and potentially cause you all this stagnant energy and all these negative thoughts and, and negative reminders. So they're going to ask you, 
please give me a second chance. Let's have a do-over, okay? Forgive me for my past actions. Forgive me for the bullshit that I put you through. And please allow me to show you to regain your trust and to work on this connection once again. You got the five of air in the reverse. So someone is coming towards you to make amends, okay? To resolve this situation, okay? They know that they made the wrong choice in the past. They know that they potentially screwed over a beautiful connection, which for a lot of them, this is already screwed okay this is why they're coming towards you in such a humble energy here empress energy and they're wanting to regain your trust okay do you remember when you first met this person i feel that for some of you guys you really held back from wanting to give this person an opportunity there was something about this person to you is like i'm not used to dealing a real tall guy or a real stocky guy or you know a heavy set person i'm not used to certain things or i'm not used to dating somebody out of my race but you gave them an opportunity Okay, you gave them a chance, and now this person knows knows that you, the empress, you gave them a chance to be part of your circle, to be part of your space, and now this person wants to come towards you in this empress energy and prove to you that they are um how can I put it that they are able to be in your space, that they are able to do right by you, the empress, that they are able to show up and show out for you. As you've always expected. Some of you guys, I feel like you even told this person, you know what? I don't ever date out of my race. Like, you are the first, no offense to anyone, but you're the first white dude that I ever dated. Or you're the first Hispanic girl that I ever dated. Or you're the first black person I ever dated. Whatever the situation was, this person really gave the other person the opportunity to um to get to know them and they screwed that over and they know that they did because now they're gonna be fighting to come towards this empress a night of fire energy here moving towards you very passionately very persistent okay it's like this person is going to do whatever it takes collective listen to him to what i'm telling you whatever it takes to win you back okay and they're going to start with regaining your trust first all right this person knows that they screwed it up that they may never have another opportunity with an empress such as yourself. This is why they're rushing back in before anyone scoops you up, before anyone tries to uh, date you or, or, or be with you. They're running back in out of nowhere very unexpectedly with the moon here, opening up their emotions, letting you know why they really did what they did in the past and what they want to do with you moving forward. For some of you guys, this person is going to tell you, I've been in love with you this whole time. I just had to escape because I had to deal with something else or I had to deal with a family situation whatever it was okay they're going to tell you the truth they're going to open up emotionally for some of you guys this person may even cry okay listen to what i'm telling you i'm picturing an individual crying not tantrum crying not acting now crying crying because they know that they love you they hurt you and they know that they made a mistake but they had to do it this way because they had to resolve something release so with the death here, it's like this person has finally ended whatever trials and tribulations were holding them back from being in this connection with you. And now they're ready to come towards you. It's a transformational period in their life. They put to bed those problems that they were dealing with when you guys first met. They resolved child support court orders. They resolved lawsuits. They resolved whatever in the world was holding them back. Whatever in the world was not allowing them to achieve this happily ever after with you. They resolved that. That's come to an end. And now they're really, again, ready to have this new beginning with you. This do-over. I keep on hearing a do-over. My son literally used that word the other day. Um, we were playing some some game, a board game. And he's like, oh, let me have a do-over. Boy, do-over, what in the world? But this is what I'm hearing from this person, a do-over. Like, let me, let me show you. Like, can we start from the beginning? It's literally like they're going to reintroduce themselves to you. And they're going to tell you, hey, my name is... Are you still available? Can we go out? Can You know what I mean? It's, like, it's going to be a fresh start to this connection. King of Air, telling truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, being open, honest, and, and receptive to this connection. If something is going to bother this person, they're going to tell you. If something is bothering you, they're going to expect you to tell them. It's like this person is stepping into this place of this King of Air energy because now they don't want anything blocking the connection. They don't want no insecurities, no doubts, no instabilities. They just want you to be able to be open and receptive to them because they're going to be the same way with you. And finally, with the Eight of Cups in the reverse, as I said, at the beginning of the reading and at the end of the reading, you are being given this triple confirmation of someone is coming back towards you. They're returning because the confusion is no longer there. They've let go of whatever was holding them back. They let go of all the instabilities. They let go of all, 
all the insecurities that they were dealing with, okay? And with the four air in the reverse, it's, it's them reviving this connection once again, okay? Is them coming towards you? Is them coming out of silent mode, out of rejection mode, I just heard, and, and asking you for, look, it, for a second chance, a new, a new beginning, a do-over with the Wheel of Fortune here. So, guys, for those of you guys that are currently in separation with someone who you have not spoken with in quite a bit, for some of you guys, this has been weeks, okay? This is a rather fresh energy to I feel like this is a relationship that started maybe sometime this past year and it ended not too long ago, but now this person is taking a, a different direction with you, okay? If that isn't the case, it's just you guys are still in this young energy, not number young, just young, vibrant energy here. So let's see, what would this person like to tell my collective universe? What are their true energies towards my collective at the moment? What is the message that this person would like to say to my collective, please? Walking away from you was the worst mistake ever, okay? Do you hear what I'm telling you? These are messages that I myself wrote down, okay? These are messages that I myself manifested. I It took me a while to get this deck together, but the messages that are coming out are from the perspective of the other person, okay? So walking away from you was the worst mistake ever. This person recognizes that they made a mistake, but I feel like they had to walk away though. There was a lot of things going on in this, personal, in this person's life that could have caused unnecessary blockages or distance or just all these unnecessary problems for you that if they wouldn't walk away from you at that point, this could have been a worse breakup that there was going to be no coming back from, okay? This person, in a matter of hours, they're getting ready to communicate with you. So in a matter of hours, you will be hearing from this individual. I kept a secret from you. So again, this person walked away from you because there were certain things that they couldn't tell you. For some of you guys, this person could have been going through a divorce and they didn't explain that to you. Or they had a situation financially that they weren't able to tell you. They were embarrassed to let you know that they were broke or they couldn't do certain things for you. They want to make sure that you know, listen to me very clearly. I did not go back with my ex. So they didn't go back towards an ex, okay? This person literally just walked away from you because they had to deal with a personal issue, okay? Do you still love me? I still love you. So this person is wondering if you still have love for them, if you're still in love with them because they're still in love with you. Guys, the truth of the matter is that whoever you were dealing with, they made a mistake. They know that they should have never walked away from you. They should have told you the secret that they were keeping from you. You could have very well understood that, maybe even helped them through it. But you're dealing with somebody who is accustomed to doing things on their own, who never have the right person by the right by their side to help them and get past the blockages. This person has dealt with so much bullshit for so many years that when you came into their life, an abundant, stable individual, when you were offering the help, they didn't know how to accept it because they're so used to people just running circles around them and making them do all these things. They never had that stability. So it was very difficult for them to get used to you offering the help when they feel like they always had to do everything on their own. So again, this person knows that they made a mistake. Um, they will be contacting you within a matter of hours here. I feel that for some of you guys, you'll definitely be hearing from this person today. They want to let you know that, yes, there was a secret that they kept, but it has nothing to do with them going back to their ex, okay? That secret has absolutely nothing to do with their ex, all right? They feel so alone without you, and they're ready to come towards you, and they do genuinely want to know if you still love them because they love you, okay? Alrighty, guys. Well, I hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if anyone is interested in a personal reading, I'm currently running a special. Don't forget to check that out in the community tab. Otherwise, the information for a personal reading is in the description box below. I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.